When we look at all of these megalithic structures, not just the pyramids, we always see mathematical constants placed into them. We always see that they're aligned with certain constellations and stars. And that's far out for most people on this planet, at least, because they're like, you know, what does that mean? Because we were never taught. We were never taught the power of astrology, not astronomy. But people call astrology a pseudoscience. They say there's no way that, you know, planets far away can impact anything on this planet. And yet the moon is responsible for high tide and low tide. And that's almost like 300,000 or 200,000 miles away from this planet. So if the moon can do that, and we know the sun has an impact on it because of its gravitational pull that causes for the earth to go around in our solar system, well then what about all the other planets and their masses and their gravitational pulls? Everything plays a role and is connected to everything else. And they understood this back then when it came to the pyramids. So they thought in the same way that Nikola Tesla tried to make us think, which is terms of in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And Nikola Tesla told us before he was no longer here, when you think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration, you will understand the secrets of the universe. We do not think in that way on the collective level. We think in terms of physical only, and we forget that everything physical is made up of energy. 